Hi everybody, down here. It's been a little bit since I uh, put on a new video. I just want to show you the performance of my rollers. Uh, got a slight overcast, which is a good background for them. When they're flying, and got my little turkeys out and chickens. Gotta eat up on the bugs, man. They love the greens and grass. I just can't see them being panned up all the time. But anyways, you guys can go ahead and get away from me. Uh, yeah, let me show you. See, I got a little overcast, so I'm going to show you how they're doing. Man, they're getting pretty good. Flying pretty good. I don't want to use my zoom feature. It seems like I'm always getting distorted when I try that out, so I'm just going to try to do my best in videotaping it without trying to even using any anything else to zoom it in or anything because like I said every time I try to zoom it in seems like this is always getting distorted but today's first day of fall won't be too many flying days for these guys because I know from experience when I used to have racing homers that the hawks are always out looking for a meal and believe it or not yeah see this starting to go dude. They're just starting to do pretty good. They were, they should have came out here earlier because they were flying higher and they were hitting pretty high. But right now, they're kind of flying low because they know I'm out here and I'm going to get ready to call them in with some food. But what I was saying about that hawk, man, I got a, a rogue hawk that just don't want to go away. He keeps coming by every morning every noon wow okay and he's just hanging out waiting for a free meal and he actually got a free meal because uh man i forgot to lock up i got, forgot to lock up my uh tiny owls and the door was wide, wide open and if you got out but i just want to show you a quick update and yeah he got one he was chewing on it and the wife saved him. Um, but I just want to do a quick update on these guys here because it's been a while since I put a video on. But they're doing pretty good. Right now it's 87 degrees. It's still warm outside. Even though it's the first day of fall here in Michigan. And uh, next week it's supposed to be like high 63. Yeah, that's abnormal, normal fall temperatures, but being here in Michigan, you know how it goes. You get extremes from one to the other. This is unusual high, unusual hot today, and it's going to be unusual cold next week. But... Just want to put an update on this video, on these rollers. I hope it comes out good. I got a few of them, I just don't want to get it together, but a couple. And I really, really need to get these trees topped because it seems like I got open, I do got open land as you can see. They don't like flying out there way. for some reason, I don't know why. They always got to get above the trees where I can't videotape them. It's strange, yep. I don't know. It seems like they're trying to climb high now for some reason. Maybe that hawk is somewhere around here. I don't know. <laughs> Got this loud ass Americana rooster. Man, he's ready for the freaking pot. Anyways, grazing birds. I'm not thinking in a way that these turkeys are keeping the hawks away for some reason. Seems like when I let these guys out, the hawk don't come around. It's kind of strange, and I'm wondering if the hawk is really fearful of them. Because uh, if that's the case, I might, I might keep them. 
I was gonna use them for Thanksgiving. Butcher them for some friends and family, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, let me see if I can get some good shots of this. It seems like when the birds are flying and it's overcast, cloudy overcast, it does pretty good. Yeah, I got some losers right there. And I only fly them once every other day. Where'd it go now? Yeah, I don't try to, I don't try to overdo it when the temperature is too, too hot. Like today, I just had to let them out because it's, they've been in for three days due to the fact that uh, it's been raining and mosquitoes are killing me, so I try not to stay out here too late. Here it is, it's September 22nd, and there's still mosquitoes. And I'm hoping them badasses will go away once we get this cold front coming in next week. But anyways, you can see how they're performing. They're kidding pretty good. Like I said, I still got a few bad apples. And I'm eventually going to weed them out. Or if the hogs take them out, no biggie. Because if they ain't going to perform and outdo their jobs, then they're not, they're not fit to hang around and get free food. Plus I got more, more youngsters that I need to train. I'm looking at getting some more lofts. I got a deal. Somebody's going to offer me some lofts. If I decide to get them. couple more lives comes with all kinds of accessories and racing homers I guess the guy's getting out of him but the time being is I'm not really into racing right, if I do have racing I just have them for my own flying just like these guys right here these white racers are gonna be flying on their own eventually and I'm gonna use them uh, to release that uh, Military funerals for free. Way over here where that White House is at is a cemetery above there. And I want to uh, I want to offer free service for veterans. You know what I mean? Due to the fact that I'm a veteran and I can only relate to them. It's just something I want to do. And I want to charge. It's bad enough that families are grieving going through that crap. But Maybe, maybe something that I'd be, I'd be really feeling good to do about to do for, for deceased veterans. So, anyways, enough of my rambling. Let me see. Yeah, I think they know it's time to come down to food feeding time. Uh, and I guess I'm going to put a new video on it again. Yeah, I'm getting ready to land. They know it's, they know it's feeding time. It's almost uh, 6 o'clock, I'm assuming. So, it's time to munch out. Alright, when it gets cool next week, I'll do a better video. So, hopefully that they'll stay up longer and do their thing. Cause, oh, wow. Almost had a roll down right there. Dang, I hope he didn't hit the edge of that damn gazebo, whatever. I'm going to convert that into a big old flying pen too. It's all about flying these birds and making them uh, happy and enjoying the hobby. So, thanks for watching. And I'll have some more later on. Let me close this off by watching these birds. Do a thing for a few more.
Well, let me add this in real quick. When these birds act erratic, I can understand what's going on. Uh, got a couple wild ass pigeons trying to integrate with them. And they're not used to it, and they don't know what it is. So they're thinking it might be another hawk or something, but every now and then I'll get these wild ass barn pigeons, I call them. They come around from the fields after eating the grain. That's a good one. And they try to get in with the flight, and it really spooks them. So. I think they done took off. Yeah, it looked like it brought them up a little bit higher. They were getting ready to land, but now I think they spooked them up to going higher. And sometimes that will happen. Yeah, they're getting up there now. Now I can't hardly see them. Dang. All right. Well, I'm going to cut this off. I don't know how long they'll fly. They might fly for another 30, 40 minutes. So, I'll try again tomorrow, next week when it gets warmer or cooler. I'm pretty sure they will do it. Definitely uh, do a better job. All right. Thanks for looking, guys. Keep on flying. Nice pigeons.